Unlocking legal language. Respondent's answer, explained. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to unravel a term you might have come across in legal contexts. Respondent's answer. If you're curious about legal terms or need to understand this for your studies or work, you're in the right place. Let's break it down together, ensuring it's clear and easy to grasp. Before we dive into the term itself, it's important to grasp two key concepts, respondent and answer in legal settings. Respondent. This is the party who responds to a petition or an appeal in legal proceedings. Think of it as the opposite of the petitioner or appellant who initiates the case. Answer. In legal terms, an answer is a formal written document in which the respondent replies to the allegations made by the petitioner. Combining these, respondent's answer is the document where the respondent officially addresses and responds to the claims or charges brought against them in a court of law. Understanding the respondent's answer is crucial for several reasons. 1. Legal rights. It's a fundamental part of legal proceedings, ensuring both parties have a fair chance to present their case. 2. Clarification. It provides the court with the respondent's side of the story, helping clarify the issues at hand. 3. Legal strategy. The answer can also outline any defenses or counterclaims the respondent wishes to raise setting the stage for the legal battle ahead. A typical respondent's answer includes several key elements. Denials or admissions. The respondent will go through each allegation and either deny or admit to them. Defenses. Any legal defenses to the allegations are outlined here. Counterclaims. If the respondent believes they have a claim against the petitioner, it will be included in this section. Legal grounds. The answer may also state the legal basis for the respondent's defenses or counterclaims. The process involves a few steps. 1. Receiving the complaint. The respondent gets the initial legal complaint or petition. 2. Reviewing with legal counsel. It's advisable to go through the document with a lawyer to understand the implications fully. 3. Drafting the answer. Based on legal advice, the respondent drafts their answer, addressing each point raised. 4. Filing with the court. The completed answer is then filed with the court, and a copy is sent to the petitioner or their attorney. Understanding the respondent's answer is essential in navigating legal disputes effectively. Whether you're directly involved in a legal case or just keen on expanding your legal English vocabulary, knowing about this document's purpose and content can be incredibly useful. We hope this video has shed some light on the topic, and you now feel more comfortable with the term, Respondent's Answer. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video. Remember, Learning legal English not only enhances your language skills but also empowers you to engage more confidently in diverse situations. Keep exploring, and don't hesitate to reach out with questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Happy learning!